Here's what's making news now around Indiana. Brought to you by Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning and Plumbing. The man for all seasons, Chapman. ChapmanHeating.com. Well, for some 130 years, this historic Clark County candy maker has become a destination location for just about anyone in America with a sweet tooth. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redmond has more from Schimpf's Confectionery in Jeffersonville. The candy man can. So there really is a candy man. Yeah. <laughs> and his name is Warren Schimpf. He and his wife Jill are the fourth generation of Schimpf's to run this historic Southern Indiana sweet shop. We're Jeffersonville's oldest retail business. We've been in business in the same location, family owned since 1891. We have the uh, book that great grandfather and grandfather put together handwritten, and we still use the same recipes. And the most famous of those recipes is undoubtedly the cinnamon red hot. You know Johnny Cash ring of fire, yep. there's Jim's ring of fire. Uh. Cinnamon red hots are our signature piece. 22,000 pounds of cinnamon red hots and a good year. We make a lot of candy, caramel chocolate, a lot of hard candy, brittles, peanut brittle, cashew brittle, English toffee, the first Candy machines were made in the 1860s. The candy table up there dates from 1891. Everything in here has a story. And that it does. Simps boasts one of the only candy museums in the U.S. Chocked full of American candy collectibles, from some of the first original pieces of candy ever made to nostalgic packaging from a different time. The teeter-totter being a stick of candy. We have a black and white child on a teeter-totter. So that artwork predates 1885, and can you imagine using black and white children in a piece of advertising 20 years after the Civil War. The dam bar, what's that? Sometime in the 30s or 40s when dam became a word that you could possibly use and kids could go into the candy store and <laughs> say, give me one of those dam bars there. <laughs> but it's not just candy. Old fashioned chocolate soda. <laughs> There's nothing like this. It's delicious. <laughs> and take it from me, it tastes every bit as good today as it did when bobby socks and poodle skirts were at the height of 50s fashion. They say that our taste buds make us remember things. It's the taste of nostalgia. We have kids from two in parents' arms to seniors that come because this is what they remember from their childhoods. We've had four generations in the store at the same time. In Southern Indiana's King of Candy isn't just a Hoosier favorite. Shimps has garnered national attention. I said, all right! From the Food Network to the History Channel's Modern Marvels and even the queen of Southern cuisine herself, Paula Dean. We have a good story to tell here. It's the story of a real American. And the story of recovery amidst the pandemic is also a real American story, as small businesses across the country struggle to stay open. But Warren says he can remember a time that was even harder on his family's candy business, imparting a few words of wisdom for mom and pop shop owners everywhere. The 1937 flood on the Ohio River, water went to the middle of the second story, in this building, they you know, lost everything, but they rebuilt and persisted. Hang in there is about the best I can say. Hopefully you'll survive. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business. Uh, great story. Thanks, Mary Rachel.